hello everyone welcome back to the map of mathematics in this video we are going to solve this nice algebra problem and here we have n to the power of 4 plus 1 is equals to 0 and we will solve this problem for the values of n and in this question i can find all the fourth roots of n so that the very first thing we are going to do is here first i can move towards the completing square of this problem so that here I can write this n to the power of 4 as n squared and its whole squared plus here I can write this 1 as 1 squared is equals to 0 and in the next step in order to make the completing square uh, we need to add or subtract some terms so that first I can write as it is the two terms and now because here you have a squared plus b squared and in the next step you need two times of a b so i can write plus two and the value of a is n squared and the value of b is one only similarly you can subtract this term so you get two times of n squared into one is equals to zero so in the next step you can just focus on these term and you see that it is equals to a squared plus b squared plus two times of a b i can write the formula here a plus b whole squared is equals to a squared plus b squared plus 2 times of a b and here you have the right hand side of this formula so that you can just uh, uh, combine the form of this formula so you get n squared plus 1 whole squared and here you can get minus 2 times of n squared is equals to 0 and now you can just make here another formula which is a squared minus b squared is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so now first i can convert the above equation in this nice formula form so that here you have the first term is n squared plus one whole squared minus i can write this two as 2 square and and its whole square because when you can open this square then you can cancel these terms and you get 2n square and now you can apply this formula here and you get and this is the value of a which is n square plus 1 and this is the value of b this is 2 square root times of n and here you get n squared plus 1 minus 2 square root of 2 into n into n squared plus 1 which is a minus b into a plus b this is the positive term of this formula and whole is equals to 0 so here we have two cases the first case is i can take n squared minus square root of 2n plus 1 is equals to 0 and the other case is n squared plus square root of 2n plus 1 is equals to 0 and now uh, we can just solve these two cases so that uh, for both of the cases we can use here the nice quadratic formula and uh, first i can write the values of a b and c on both of the cases so here you have the value of a is 1 b is minus square root of 2 and c is equals to 1 similarly here you have a is equals to 1 b is equals to square root 2 and c is equals to 1 and our quadratic formula is n is equals to minus b plus minus b squared minus 4 times of ac and its whole squared 
over 2 times of a and now we can put the values of a b and c in this formula and you get uh, I can first solve this case and in this case we have n is equals to minus b the value of b is minus k root 2 and when you can put here you get plus k root of 2 and plus minus here you have b square so this the square of square root 2 is plus 2 minus 4 times of a c and a is 1 and c is 1 so you get this minus 4 and whole over 2 so that here you obtain square root of 2 plus minus here you get minus 2 square root over 2 and in the next step here you know that this is the uh, negative sign under the square root so that you can write it as square root of 2 plus minus square root of 2 into iota and whole over here you have 2 and we can write this 2 as square root of 2 times square root of 2 because square root of 2 times square root of 2 will becomes only 2 and now we will separate all these terms and you get 1 over square root of 2 plus minus and here again you get uh, sorry uh, here you get 1 over square root of 2 into iota so these are the two roots of the given equation which we obtain in the first case and now we move towards the second case and our second case is we can just put the values of these in this nice formula and you get n is equals to minus b and the value b is square root of 2 so it will becomes minus 2 square root and plus minus b squared which is 2 minus 4 because the value of n c is 1 over 2 and similarly you can get here minus square root of 2 plus minus here you have minus 2 square root over 2 and now in the next step we can just separate these terms or first I can write minus square root of 2 plus minus here you have minus sign under the square root so you can write square root of 2 into iota over here we again write this 2 as square root of 2 into square root of 2 and now you just make the separation of the terms and you get minus 1 over square root of 2 and plus minus 1 over square root of 2 iota so these are the other two roots of the given equation and finally we have the these fourth roots of the given equation and this is the our final answer so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos